Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Kwidash. I want to give double honors to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Also, peace and blessings to my fellow yokesmen, the hopeful elect that continue in the work of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Also, to the believers, the Akim, Wa'akwathium that continue to believe upon the names Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai and all fear shall awan. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. This is another quick lesson centered around humility. Anything that we want to learn or teach that is found within the scriptures would be Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the pinnacle of humility. Yahweh Shai came to the earth and wore humility as a garment. He showed the perfect act of being humble. Now, I have the word humility pulled up in a simple Google definition. Humility. It says a modest or a low view of one's own importance, humbleness. That's why the book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 5 tells us, it says, Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou would have not, but a body hast thou prepared me, and brute offerings and sacrifices for sins thou hast had no pleasure. Verse 7 Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me to do thy will, O power. So the Most High wasn't pleased with all of those other blood sacrifices, but he chose his sacrificial lamb to come to the world to be that humble servant which is to complete his will and hebrews 10 and 7 is being reiterated from psalms 40 and 7 and our king david in psalms 40 and 7 wasn't speaking of himself he was speaking of yahweh shai all right now hebrews 10 and 7 tells us then said i lo i come in the volume of the book it is written of me and the volume of the book is Genesis all the way to Revelation. Every book that's found within the scriptures is a volume of the scriptures. And Yahweh Shai is written within those volumes. The scripture says, to do thy will, O power. So it was prophesied, all right, in the in the law, and the law spoke of Yahweh Shai, and the prophets also once again, which they prophesied about Yahweh Shai coming to do the will of the Most High being that sacrificial lamb, showing us the pinnacle of humility or being clothed with humility or being humble. Now, the book of Zechariah, and Zechariah is what? A prophet of the Lord. Book of Zechariah chapter nine. So this is a prophecy of Yahweh Shai to come, Zechariah nine and nine, Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. And you first must be a what? People before you a place. And this is speaking of the elect of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says, Thy king, speaking of Yahweh Shai, cometh unto thee. He is just, meaning he is righteous, having salvation, all right, fulfilling that uh, nomen omen, which means name prediction. He was predicted from the foundation to be what? That sacrificial lamb. It says having salvation, his name means salvation. His name is Yahawashah. He delivers. Yah meaning he, Hawashah means delivers or saves. It says lowly and riding upon an ass and upon a coat, the fall of an ass. Yahawashah could have came riding anything else he could have came riding a, a camel or a stallion you know he could have showed up in high fashion but he showed up in what lowly okay and riding upon an ass and upon a coat the fall of an ass so that's the scriptures foretelling you how him being written in the volumes all right zechariah is a volume of the scriptures and in zechariah which is the prophecy of Yahweh Shai coming to be that humble servant of the Most High, to complete the will of the Most High. That's being a perfect and humble servant. St. John 17, 
and verse 4 tells us, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gave of me to do. See that? To do thy will of the Most High was the job of Yahweh Shah being that lowly servant, giving us that perfect example of how to be clothed with humility, okay, to do the will of the Most High. Now, the scripture also tells us in Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 3, and verse 17, it says, My son, go on with thy business in meekness. And we all have occupations, or we have businesses, but the main business is to what? Prophesy. So we should do that, what? In meekness, it says, So shall thy be beloved of him that is approved. And who is that? Yahweh Shai. He has been glorified. He has been approved because he has finished the work. And we want to do like Yahweh Shai did, which was be clothed in, in humility. It says, the greater thou art, the more humble thyself. How do you become great? By increase of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from the Most High through Yahweh Shai. It says, and thou shalt find favor before the Lord. See that? It says, many are in high place and are renowned. All right? Those that... Um, sit in high seats in whatever kingdom that you should be under. It says, many are in high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. So the Most High chose the lowly to give his precious jewels to, which is uh, perfected knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay? It says, verse 20, for the power of the Lord is great and he is honored of the lowly. So those that are high-minded all right, in stature and in mind, all right, status of this world, they don't receive these mysteries and they do not honor the Most High, okay? Now, in order to show an act of humility also, okay, and to learn these mysteries, you must be able to what? Be taught by a man, okay? Now, let's get the book of Acts, which is the perfect example of humility by the Ethiopian Enoch, which really was an Israelite, the book of Acts chapter 8, and round about the, I'm going to go straight to the point. It says, verse 30, it says, Acts 8 and 30, and Philip ran thither to him, which is the Ethiopian Enoch, which really was an Israelite, and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and saith, Understandeth thou what thou readest? And this is a humble statement. Verse 31, And he said, How can I, except some man should guide me? That's the uh, perfect example also, outside of the ultimate example, of being humble or showing humility or being clothed with humility, wearing humility like a garment. This is what the Ethiopian Enoch said to Philip. And he saith, how can I? How can I understand what I read of? Except some man should guide me. And that man must be led by the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. Verse 32. Then, this is also uh, Yahweh Shai being written in the volume of the book. Here in Acts, and also what the Ethiopian Enoch was reading. That he desired Philip to give him understanding about which is Isaiah, what, the 53rd chapter. It says, the place of the scriptures which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter and like a lamb dumb before his shears, so open not his mouth. All right? And uh, Philip started declaring unto the Ethiopian Enoch that this was who? The savior of Israel, which is Yahweh Shai. Let's get that, Isaiah. So Yahweh Shai is written in the volume of the book. All right, being that, that sacrificial lamb, being that humble servant, giving us the perfect example of humility. Isaiah 53, and I'm going to go straight to the point what the Ethiopian Enoch was reading, which really was an Israelite. I'm going to start at 5, Isaiah 53 and 5, but he was wounded for our transgressions, all right, showing the act of humility, not putting himself first, putting Israel all right, first, starting with the elect, he was bruised for our iniquity. See, speaking of the elect, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. That's why he is the what? Prince of Peace, Isaiah 9 and 6. All right, another prophecy that was spoken 
of Yahweh Shah to uh, forecome and show humility, to carry the government upon his shoulders. All right, being the top angel, being someone that is honored of the Most High, showing a perfect act of humility. It says the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. See, this is the point, verse 6. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord have laid on him the iniquity of us all. Now, this is what the Ethiopian Enoch was reading, Isaiah 53 and 7. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shears is dumb. So he opened not his mouth, meaning he somewhat just laid his head upon the guillotine, so to speak, meaning he just put himself upon the cross and did not even uh, bother to open his mouth. He did it quietly with all humility, all right, knowing his mission, knowing what he had to do and how hard it was to do it, he still humbled himself and carried out the mission of the Most High, which was to become that sacrificial lamb. Now, the book of Philippians gives a great example of that. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 3, it says, Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, empty glory. Let nothing be done through it. But in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than themselves. That's putting on humility. See that? That's being clothed with humility. That's the mindset that our Lord had. It says, look not every man on his own thing, what the Lord did. It says, but every man also on the things of others. And that's what our Lord did. All right. He put his problems aside, put his things aside, and he hung himself upon the cross. Verse 5, let this mind be in you, which also was in Hamashiach, Yahweh So we need to be clothed in humility. This is the example that Yahweh Shai set. Verse 6, who being in the form of the Most High, see that? Thought it not robbery to be equal with the Most High, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant. That's, that's being humble. All right? Being able to be taught, being able to serve others. That's being clothed with humility and was made in the likeness of men, which is humility itself, which is at a low point. Verse eight, and being found in the fashion as a man, he humbled himself, see that? And became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Verse nine, wherefore the most high have also highly exalted him and giving him a name which is above every name. It says that at the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee should bow in things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. See that? So if I'm not mistaken, that's Yahweh Shai being worthy to be worshiped, prayed to, all right? And being being reverenced, being uh uh uh, uh or having respect shown unto him because he's worthy of all of that. Okay, being that ultimate humble lamb of the Most High. All right? So, you know, Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this was edifying. This was just a perfect example of humility. The most ultimate example is Yahweh Shai and one other example outside of Yahweh Shai of how being clothed with humility leads to what? Uh, everlasting life. All right? And Yahweh Shai is that example. All right, so Lord willing, once again, I pray this lesson made sense and that this was edifying Shalom DTA. Soon.